together, my name is Devontae Wilson. I'm here overcoming fitness, health, mindset, and overcoming everyday life challenges. Today's video will be a simple one. All it is is we'll be covering on how to get the most out of your rows. I've seen it too many times, and I'm like, gosh, drop the weight if you want to be great. You got people doing half reps, you got people cheating it, you got people just not knowing, just putting the body in the least optimal positions. I'm like, okay, Devon said, it's about time that you start talking out and start putting awareness into the world. So, we're gonna start with that today. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. One of the common mistakes that I see outside of rowing, just in anything in life where you have to pick something up, is how you pick it up. How you pick something up is everything. Because if you pick something up with the incorrect form, you'll notice that later on down the road, you got back aches. You got it herniated this. Well, let me show y'all how to pick up something and get yourself in the optimal position real quick. So let me first show y'all what I commonly see that is a mistake that I would correct if I saw it. So first thing, okay, here's the way. This is what you don't do. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna get it. Y'all seen that before? And then they'll go and they'll start the position right here and then they'll start doing this. That's a no. Or they may pick it up real good or they'll, they'll have their shoulders slouched forward and they just go right here. That's a no. I could go on about this all day, but let me show y'all how I would get into this position. First, you wanna have your feet spread apart. You wanna have the hand that you're going to be doing the movement with. You wanna have the opposite leg forward. That hand that you're doing the movement with is where you have this leg put back and then the weight right here. So then what I like to do is I like to Go ahead and twist the doorknob. This gets your lats engaged and your shoulder in a great position to, stay, to be stabilized. Now, what you can do is instead of rounding your back, all you gotta do, this back leg, drop it. Or, even better, you can allow yourself to hinge, get this weight, keep this shoulder in your pocket. Bam, right there. Doorknob's twisted. Now what you do is you want to treat it like one of those grandfather clocks and allow it to be a pendulum motion. Right here. Pendulum motion. And remember, if you cannot control the weight, drop the weight, focus on the form, and focus on what it feels to do it right. This, you get a whole lot more lat activation and the most out of your exercise whenever you focus on doing it right. Now let me do it on the other side. So remember, whichever arm you got, the arms forward, opposite legs back. Now, hinge, bam. Now, pendulum motion. Core tight the entire time. Pendulum motion. Don't allow your shoulder to go forward because then your shoulder is not stabilized and then it's going to overwork. So keep it in the pocket and keep that pendulum motion going. Now you'll get the most out of the exercise and you'll get a great workout and optimizing the body while putting it in safe positions. So that's all I got for you guys for tonight. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you Give it a like, you know, thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on what you pulled from it. And also leave a comment down below on what would you like the next video to be about so that I can go ahead and create that content for you guys because I care about giving you guys content that y'all find value in. And if I'm not producing it, I don't know what I don't know. So please, enlighten me. Let me inside of your head so I can produce what y'all want instead. Ooh, bars. But also, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe if you want to. It's up to y'all. Y'all don't have to if y'all don't like my video. Y'all can give it a thumbs down if you want. But if y'all want to give it a thumbs down, I'd love it if y'all just 
leave. <laughs> yeah, just leave instead. But uh, yeah, I, I love if you subscribe to support me. Hit the bell button to be notified on whenever I post. And I post every single Friday at 3 p.m. Central Time. But like always, y'all, until next time, it's God time. Peace.